Hi, Ten. So, as promised, I'm going to make you a couple of videos. One was with regards to the question that was on the handout, which was um, find the angle um, where the two lines meet. And the two lines were y equals 2x minus 1 and y equals 1 half x plus 2. So, obviously, we want to start by drawing the lines. Okay, so I've got myself a little grid here. Um, I'm going to start with y equals 2x minus 1. So I'm going to go here to um, minus 1, and I'm going to go 1, 2, and 1, and 1, 2, and 1. And I'm going to um, connect all those dots and create my line. There we go. All right. So, and then at the top here, I'll just write y equals 2x minus 1. So then the other thing, the other line was y equals um, 1 half x plus 2. So I can start here at 2 and I'm going to rise, sorry, at 2 and I'm going to rise 1 and run 2 and rise 1 and run 2 and I'm going to create myself my other line. And so I've drawn my other line, and so this line is y equals 1 half x plus 2. And so now I want to find this angle right here, theta, or the angle um, where the lines intersect. So in order to do that, what I really want to do is I want to say, okay, well, there's, I, I want to see, I know when I'm dealing with slope, I'm dealing with rise over run, and if I can create a triangle using my slope, um, then I can uh, use the idea of opposite over adjacent to solve. So what I've noticed right here is when I'm looking at my um, when I'm looking at my two lines, they there's a triangle that gets formed here with the x-axis. Okay, so if I take a look, here is this great triangle and it gets formed, like I said, with the x-axis. And so what I want to do then is I want to take a look at the two points on my x-axis. So I'm going to start with um, I'm going to start with this line right here. Okay? So this line has a slope of one half x. So from where it connects to the x-axis, I can actually um, create a triangle um, with a slope of or create a triangle with a s using the slope of one half. So it says I'm going to rise one and run two. So first I'm going to run two and then I'm going to rise one. So my run is two and my rise is one. And so I end up with this triangle right here um, and I can label that rise of one and a run of two. And so now I have this angle right here, which I'm just going to call x. Okay. Um, and so now I know this angle and what I want to do is I want to be able to create this angle. Well, fortunately, when I look at the question or when I look at the line y equals 2x minus 1, um, if I start here, okay, I can also rise to and run one. All right, so I can run one and then rise two. So if I run one and then rise two, right, so I have a rise and a run again. So in this time I have run one and I rise two. And then I can figure out what this angle is right here, which I'm just going to call y. Okay. Um, and so then that's going to obviously help me solve my triangle because I know that once I know this angle right here, well, by definition, this angle right here has to be 180 minus y. So I'm actually going to just write that. So this angle is 180 minus y. Okay. And so now I can figure out all my angles. So let's start with the green one. So I'm going to look for x. So I know that tan of x is equal to opposite, which is 1, over adjacent, which is 2. So then x 
is going to equal tan inverse of one half. And then when I plug that into my calculator, um, I get 26.6 degrees. So x is equal to 26.6 degrees. Then I'm going to take a look now at my orange triangle and try to find angle y. So I'm going to again use tan because for angle y I have the opposite and adjacent. So tan of y is equal to 2 over 1, which is just 2. So then y is equal to tan inverse of 2. And so when I plug that into my calculator, I get 63.4 degrees. So y equals 63.4 degrees. Um, and so now I can figure out the angle beside it, so the 180 minus y. So 180 minus y, um, that's going to equal 180 minus 63.4 degrees. So 180 minus 63.4 is equal to 116.6 degrees. And I realize that um, you can't see actually what I'm doing anymore, so I'm just going to pull the paper up. So looking at this angle, I just did 180 minus my y from above. So 180 minus 63.4 is equal to 116 degrees. And now I'm almost there. Okay, so my last step then is to say that theta is equal to 180 minus x, which is 26.6, minus this angle right here, which is 116.6. So, so theta is equal to 180 um, minus 26.6 minus 100 and 16.6 so 180 minus 26 minus 116.6 gives me an angle of 37.4 degrees so now I know that theta is 137.4 degrees so anytime that you can um, you can connect a line to the x-axis you can always um, create a right angle triangle and use tan to solve. So that's it. Thanks for listening.